Yo, what's up guys? So, in this video, we're going to learn a trick together. And in case you haven't seen one of these videos before, basically what I do is I pull a random book from my shelf from a wheel of books that I spin, and from that book we generate a random trick, and then we learn that trick together. It's always a surprise for everybody. So here we go with the uh, the wheel of books here. You can see the wheel right there, put it in focus for you. And then I just give the wheel a little spin. And like I said, whatever uh, book that, hello, <laughs> whatever book that wheel lands on, we get that book out and then we learn together. What is it this time? Ooh, Mint Volume 1 by Ed Marlowe. Okay, so there are 365 pages in this book. That means I just get a random number, all right? So, hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Give me a number between one and 365. It's 221. All right, 221. So that's the page we will go to in this book. 221, here we go. 221, and the trick today is... Uh, let's see, well, it looks like there is no trick on the actual page of 221, so we just go to the previous page. In this case, it's a trick called In Spectator's Hands. Um, I'm not sure uh, what this trick is, but I'm sure it's good. Uh, you can see a little gap card there. I'm sure it's going to be something fabulous. So, let's learn it. This trick is absolutely fantastic and is practically self-working. Well, it is self-working. Um, basically, what it is, it's a card reverse and a card change you know what i will just uh i'll show it to you all right so i've been sort of practicing this uh for a while so i'll show you what it looks like and then i'll i'll, I'll teach it to you all right so um let's imagine that we have somebody here and they're gonna pick a card all right so as i riffle down just say stop anytime stop right there remember that card i will look just commit that card to memory all right now what i'm gonna do is give the deck a little bit of shuffle and try to Turn your card that you're just thinking of upside down behind my back. Here we go. Let's see if I can get one card. Let's see this one. Mm, oh, this one feels good. Maybe, maybe it's this one right here. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's the one right there. Check it out. For the first time, don't don't tell me yet. I'll just show you the card that I turned uh, face down. Was that your card? The Eight of Diamonds? Uh, no. You know what? How about how about you do it? Take the deck and watch. All I do is just think about your card. Focus on your card for a minute, watch. A mystical pass over the deck. Spread the deck yourself across the table, just like this. We get one card, a jack of clubs. <laughs> All right, so here is how it's done. There is a bit of preparation and you have to sort of make a little gaff card. And this is what it is, it's, uh, it's a step gaff. I mean, you can find these in a gaff deck probably, but you can easily just make one yourself. And here's how you do it. You just take a joker, you know, like a jump card, and just take a pair of scissors, and you'll need some double-sided uh, scotch tape. And just take the joker and cut it in half, uh, right down the middle. Next, just take your double-sided tape, run it along uh, the half card here on the face, and just glue it on to uh, just any card, all right? So just. And that will be your your gaff here. I have one made already, obviously, and that is your your gaff. Now you're going to put the gaff. Uh, however, you spread the deck, you want to make it to where the face up side is hidden. I'm left-handed, so I spread from right to left. So I would have to put my gaff to where the face up side is to the left. All right, but if you're right-handed, just do it in reverse. Okay. So next, uh, just put it uh, somewhere in the middle of the deck. And I like to whatever the card is. I like to have a contrasting card above it because the card that you put above the gaff will be the card that you force on the participant. So Marlowe says to actually have the gaff uh, make it a short card uh, so you can force the card very easily. However, uh, the method that he goes over is a fingertip peek, something like that. But I always find when I do that, you can see the, the reverse card go by. I'll do it real quick like this. And if you see, and if you watch closely, you can always see that face down card. Go. They'll always see a face down card uh, because it's, the card is face up. So what I do instead, is I just uh, do a riffle force, and so since that face-up card, it's, I mean, with the gaff making it yourself, it's already sort of a short card, right? So you can, if there's a little gap in the deck, you can riffle up with your thumb, and you'll always stop on that, uh, on the card there, you'll, you'll 
feel and you'll hear the click, uh, just like this. You always stop on it when you riffle back with your thumb. So you could do that. You could do that when you're talking and whatever. Just riffle up the back with your thumb, and you'll get the break uh, below the force card. Now I just do a regular riffle force, all right? So if we need to do it like this, they'll never see a, a reversed card because the face down side is on your thumb side, so they won't see a reversed card. All right, so when they say stop, uh, lift the packet up, you wanna go vertical so that way you don't flash that gaff card, right? So uh, they say stop, come everything, come up with vertical, show them the card like this, and don't flash that, just keep this sort of neck tied. Now you can cleanly just throw this back on top like this and you can actually give it a shuffle just making sure you shuffle around uh, the gaff card and the card they just picked. So you can start an overhand shuffle like this and stop about when you get close to uh, the center there where there, where those cards are and chop off a big block like this and just shuffle off and that maintains that sort of gaff card and their card in the middle somewhere. Now here's the action. What you're going to do is claim after you shuffle the deck, you're gonna claim that you're gonna go behind your back and make and turn over their card, wherever it might be. But what you really do is this. Uh, just like how in the beginning when you got ready for the force, you riffle up the back again, stopping at that gaffed card. You always click on it as it goes by. It'll, you'll always stop on it, okay? So what you're gonna do is this. Once you reach that, once you hear the click, all you're gonna do is take the card uh, that's on the bottom of the lower packet, which is their card, and slide it over like this. And basically you wanna put their card face up under the gaff. So again, just riffle up with your thumb, get the click, sort of slide this off, that's their card. Push this off like this, and just revolve that over face up so it goes under the gaff card now. And of course, this is all happening behind your back, okay? So what you wanna do before you come back forward is reverse the deck like this. So that way, the face up side is now the way you spread. So when you spread through, they'll see that eight of diamonds. But you don't wanna do this because then you'll flash everything, right? So what you do is this, you start to spread through and start, start to run singles like this until you get to the, the gaff card there, but don't spread all the way through all the way over because it'll flash that sort of weird gaff. So when you uh, start uh, pushing over singles, you'll see the gaff and then do a block push over like this. And it just looks like uh, that eight of diamonds is the only face up card in the deck. So once again, you're spreading through, slow down when you reach the approximate center. Uh, they, once that eight of diamonds is exposed, do a block push over. So, so not to expose that card under it, do a block push over, keep spreading through and it looks like is the only card that's face up in the deck. Say, was that your card? They say no, obviously. So put the deck down uh, like this and uh, do a magical wave, do a magical gesture and have them spread the deck. Now, if they're right-handed, uh, it, it, it matters the way they spread that because if they do this, uh, it'll, it'll be exposed. So if you don't want to take the risk, just spread the deck yourself. So maybe before you perform this trick, um, see which way they spread the deck so you can be prepared for when they spread it, okay? So uh, this will be like this. So they take the deck, they spread it, and then they'll see it'll be the only reverse card in the deck now. So that eight of diamonds, which was not their card, has just changed uh, to their card. All right, guys, so as always, I wanna just thank you from the bottom of my heart for always taking the time out of your day to watch these videos and doing all you do to help the channel out. It really means a lot to me. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.